you're always pretty positive about some of the underlining signals for when uh, COVID does allow you to get your business back in full swing. What are those positive notes you're looking at? Oh, look, it's, um, there's quite a few. I mean, obviously, the Australian-New Zealand market's one thing and, um, you know, Australia has gone for the elimination strategy, but um, we're in, we operate our equity uh, businesses in uh, 23 countries, you know, and, and quite large ones is Europe, UK um, and North America. And um, they, they generally look pretty positive, uh, particularly US, uh, both in leisure and now corporate mm. are starting to go quite well. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it's uh, for Australia, it's going to be important for us to have at least some limited international travel without quarantine um, during the second half of this uh, calendar year. And that looks possible or, or probable at this stage, certainly from what the airlines are telling us, they, they certainly expect um, a reasonable amount of international travel uh, yeah. starting after after July. Well, they're not hearing those uh, guarantees, I guess, from the government. We hear from the New South Wales a Treasurer for one, the Business Council for another, demanding targets from the government uh, in line with the vaccine rollout as to what we'll be allowed to do in terms of international travel. travel. Would you add your voice to that? What do you need for certainty, predictability? Look, the, the, the major thing is, is vaccination rollout. I think everyone knows that. I think the government understands that. We, we just need to make sure that, um, you know, the people who could get sick and die, uh, you know, the old and the, um, the ill do, can get vaccinated before widespread um, vaccinated travellers can come back into the uh, into the country, and I think I think nearly everyone understands that now. Um, it's it's also a matter of making it happen, of course. So uh, that that's really the major thing. And, and you know, we, we are going to have to learn to live with the virus, like uh, the US and the UK has done. Um, you know, they they've had no choice, uh, but it does mean that once they've got a significant part of their population vaccinated, which is happening now, and that the travellers are vaccinated, you know, they can get back to some level of normality with international travel, which looks like it's happening over the next two or three months in both those countries. Are you worried at all about, you know, reputational damage with going for the elimination strategy as the rest of the world starts to open up? We're closing our border even to our own citizens in India. Would there be a fear about people travelling here? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, at some stage, Australia needs to open up to the world. It's it's probably a bit early now. Mm. And uh, you can sort of understand the Indian situation, I, I, I guess. But, um, yeah, at some stage, we just got to, um, you know, when, when enough vaccinations happen and when we can accept vaccinated uh, travellers, uh, and I don't think that's that far off. Um, you know, it's certainly not going to open up widely in the next couple of months. But uh, I do think by the end of July, we'll be allowing certain people who are vaccinated back into the country with minimal um, mm. quarantine, certainly not hotel quarantine anyway, uh, providing they are testing um, net negative. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably positive that uh, we things are going to get better over the next few months from Australia's point of view. And I, I, I tend to agree, you know, we, we, it's, it's a matter of um, not being too risk averse, but uh, a, accepting that it's about suppression of the virus um, in the longer term, not elimination. Yeah, indeed. What do you know that we don't, Graham Turner? Because July seems very ambitious. This will be for certain uh, people, you know, for example, you know, having a business in 23 countries, it's really important that, that myself and some of our senior executives can get, can travel. And, um, you know, there is a, I, I think there is, the narrative is changing a bit in the government about uh, people who are travelling for essential business, uh, for example, being able to come back with home quarantine, just as, um, you know, the, the uh, Minister for Tourism has just been, uh, and Trade has just been to the UK and Europe, and, um, you know, that's exactly what he's, he's doing now, I believe, in Canberra. So, you know, I, I, think, I, I think there is a... It certainly won't open up widely in, uh, by July, but certainly um, it's, 
it's a progressive thing, you know, like the Trans Tasman. It looks like there will be some other uh, corridors open up um, cautiously, and and I certainly think that um, sometime in the next uh, three or four months we will be looking seriously at uh, you know uh, home quarantine for people coming or visiting UK and and the US. So uh, yeah, maybe I'm I'm being a bit uh, too positive on that, but that's that's what. That's the angle we're we're sort of getting at the moment.